Well, new at 6, San Antonio's construction industry is booming, and it's projected to grow by more than 25% in the next 10 years. And yet local trade organizations report there's a shortage of labor. Four out of five companies have reported a serious shortage, according to the National Association of Home Builders. The number of construction jobs in North Texas is growing so fast, builders here cannot keep up. They will be short nearly 38,000 people this year. CCA is a very unique program. We're a magnet school located in Northside ISD in San Antonio. The students can study either construction management, architect, engineering, carpentry, HVAC and electrical, or plumbing with welding. And by the time they're in their senior year, they complete an actual tiny home that goes through city inspections that's completely fully functioning. And those are auctioned off at a tiny home showcase in May. And then the homes are sold and the money comes back into the program to be used for students to continue building and creating projects and paying for materials. One of the key factors that makes this magnet school work are industry partners. And if you go out there, you will see a number of businesses that are part of this school. And here's what they're doing. They're hiring the kids over the summer into internships and they're paying them. They're working with the school on the curriculum. As importantly, the school is listening to business. It's what we call demand-driven education. They're listening to what business is demanding and actually adjusting the curriculum to what business is demanding. I've actually had two internships. I had one with Basin Plumbing, and then I did another one for TD Industries, which used to be a Texas distributor, and then they shortened it. And then after that, as long as you show you want to be there, especially since we're high school students, they really want us, they'll offer you a job right once you're out of high school. Ms. Etheridge really helped me get a job this past summer because I really wanted one, and I got a phone call, I applied, and I started working in the summer, mid-June. It was great, I learned a lot. Those guys were so welcoming to me, man. It was cool, it, was, it wasn't like dreadful going to work. It was fun going to work. It was something I like to do and the environment was just cool to work around. I recently, over summer, just finished mine with Metropolitan Contracting and it was amazing. They were all welcoming. They told me that I was welcome anytime, like during summer or even after I finished high school. They know my goals and so they want to help me achieve that. So they told me that they would be able to help. I don't even have to call anyone to come to our job fair in May. They call us because they know the kids have skills. I've gotten the feedback from the people in the field and they all say, yes, we would hire these kids again. And the kids come back saying that as well. So that increased their skill set and they got on the job training hours by working in the field. We're having now students go into the community of construction. Uh, and this weekend when we were at the Home and Garden Show, we had two kids come up that graduated one two years ago and one three years ago. One says, I have a booth here of, of woodworking the really cool playhouses. I want to hire CCA kids to work for me. Another one that does AutoCAD came and said, I want to hire kids to work for me. I started a new company, a tech company. So our own students know that they have skills and they want to come back and hire from here. Our students are going into the community now working and we're infiltrating the construction community. So it's, it's fantastic. We need to take programs like this and we need to expand them. There are 600 students right here in this district that wanted to come to this school to learn how to build those tiny homes, right? So why aren't we as a nation empowering those 600 students to have a trade? so they can have a family sustaining job. And so what I would tell, you know, whether it's the construction industry or the people of Texas is support programs like this. Let's take our young Americans and teach them these skills. You walk around here, they built that tiny home. They're learning welding, they're learning construction management. They're learning skills that will lead to family sustaining jobs. So let's do more of this, the kids want it. So why aren't we supporting the kids?